Hey, Kerry. You know what I'm looking at? Us tracks concert announcement. This is not fucking happening. Wait, what? I thought we took care of it. Truck didn't do shit. They just postponed the game. Look, meet me outside the club. Little push didn't work. Now we gotta shove. Tried talking to the label, didn't you? What do you think I did first? I sent my manager after him. Yeah, hell of a lot that did. Sent me back a crate of fine whiskey and started bombarding me with PR shit every two seconds reminding me about our deal. Fuck him. What now? Gonna plant a bomb in the club? Nah. Gonna talk to him. Okay, good. Cause I thought... Bring your heat. Come on. Time to lay it out for those little idiots. Their 15 minutes is up. Hey, so what's the plan? Simple. We get in the club, find the little sluts dressing room, do our thing, Delta. Thing is, I can't be seen. Not about to give them any free PR. Yeah, pretty sure you gave them enough already. Burning truck was everywhere. All the sheets, all the feeds. Don't get smart. Tell me how we get inside. Look, sometimes simplest is best. We just buy tickets. Okay. First, you whacked? Not about to let those bitches make an any off of me. 
Second, it's sold out. Cool. We'll find a way in anyway. Let's look around. Sold out, definitely. Apparently been sold out a while. Of course, no surprise there. Pfft, I'm surprised. Uh, hang on, we'll be back. Whatever. They're huge in Mumbai and Tokyo. Know how much their Golden Circle tickets went for? More than our last bonus, Chum. No fucking way! And that deal with Kiroshi? You know our guys tried talking to him. Heard a hundred million practically pop their office chrome. Still got on the manager's list, got passes. We'll see what the million Eddie fuss is about. You know Fuck yeah! For the tickets, <laughs> do you? No. Word is they sold out. I mean, we got VIP passes, so... How's things? Can't wait either? <laughs> I heard the girls crank it out preem. Heard that too. I heard they're overhyped Asian bubblegum scop. Guess we'll know in a sec. Have fun. Said you found a ladder. Toss it down. <laughs> Gotta get backstage. Some badges or some somewhere here. Passes. How's it looking pre-show? Everything in order? Yeah. Had some hiccups with the sound. Little starlets wanted their own matrixes. Some custom-made Japanese shit. Boys couldn't figure out how to link it all up. Don't know. Apparently it's all good now. Yeah, sound system. Must be one of those smart phone coders. Do the whole damn job for them. Chum, come on. Help us out. We left them inside. No, can't. Try the main door. They'll check the list. Yeah, but by that time, the holo projectors be on and out of whack. I'll have to recalibrate, no way this show starts on time. And then sayonara, Chu. You're out, cause ain't no way we're taking the fall. Fuck. Alright, go. Staple them to your fucking foreheads next time, will ya? Thanks, pal. You just saved the show. Recalibrate hollow projectors. How you even know shit like that? Past life. Work backstage for Ji-Hung for a time. Learned some things. Finally came in handy today. How the fuck am I supposed to know what goes where? That's it. Fuck it. Probably gonna send Ronnie over to Europe. Did he tell him you were pregnant? Sure, but he can't opt out. He's still paying off his insurance. Oh, not that bad. They locked mine up with Diego with barely one. Look how he turned out without a father. We have a today, me goodie. Oh, wait. This is a special boy from Foundation Organization? Now, we're gonna chat. 
Who the fuck are you? The fucking guy you robbed. Carrie Uridine. Carrie son. I hate your son. This ain't a meet and greet either. P. Hear him out. This is all a misunderstanding. Clear it up, and we're gone. But Carrie son, what happened? We had a deal, didn't we? Oh my god. Is this about that N54 interview? We like didn't mean to offend or anything. Old doesn't mean anything anymore. No wonder the truck didn't get to him. Even dumber than I thought. Wait, 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 wait. What's this about a deal? We signed a deal with MSM to play Carrie Son's user friendly. It's like our new single for the North American leg of the tour. Over my dead body. But we're going to bring your rock into a new era. Isn't that what you want? Rock? You? Okay, let me tell you something. It's been claimed before, but you actually did it. Rock is dead, and you killed it. Congratulations! Your manager contacted ours. Said you wanted to work with us. Kovacek? The, the fuck? He, he never even asked me. The fucking corpo cunt bag. Listen, Carrie san that cover is an expression of our love for you. Please, let's work something out. Rock might be dead, but Carrie's blind if he can't see these girls got potential. What do you say we chill, all of us, and figure Looks this like out? Looks like the label fucked you all. You're their pawns. They're playing you. Looks that way. Fuck. You know, got nothing against you. The sitch. That's what's fucked. Well, you chained your gaunt gas to the corpos. What'd you expect? We'll talk to the label, Carrie son. But right now, we'll make our displeasure known. Your song's not in the set. We're calling off the concert and suspending the tour. Seriously? You'll lose millions. They'll lose even more. Well, okay. You girls, you're all right. What I said earlier, I... No biggie, Carrie son. Even monkeys fall from trees. Right. Let's go, V. Wait! Carrie san can we get a pic with you? Just... as a souvenir? Um... Pff, why the hell not? V, do the honors? Hang on, let's get a selfie. All right, I think we got it. Thanks, Carrie son. Um, so, you working on any new songs? We could maybe pick one for your single. <gasps> really? Yeah, gonna stick around some, V. I mean, look at them. The girls need help. Thanks. Yeah, have fun. Carrie son, maybe you'd like. Wanna hear about her new single? Ow.
Those ladies were to get us the fuck out of here! Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Sure. Okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time.
Thanks. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Mike, we're talking um, about the cornerstone us of doing my what platform. Exactly? I'm not doing a U-turn just because night court. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <sighs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know, NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Security looking at this, say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. Security looking at this, Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim... Security... They suggest... Convenient answer. Liz gave secu... <laughs> Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? <sighs> Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? We shouldn't delay too long. No clue yet. 
anyone besides SSI come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope, that about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka... So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, huh, that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. This is where Jeff saw our intruder. And fired at him... here? Right after walking out of the bedroom. At least that's how he remembers it. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Bullet holes. Caulked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. You're welcome to go up to the roof if you want. I'll wait here. Sure thing. practically prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short-range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out.
Got a vision the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. The hell is all this? <laughs> Fuck if I know. But my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up to. See these cables? Fresh fruit. Tasty by the looks of it. They deliver it to us. It's included in the rent. Looks like it's been enhanced. What have we got here? Glutamine, noradrenaline, dopamine, serotonin. All neurotransmitters. Know anything about this? It's smart food. It's enhanced for improved mental performance. I don't know if it really works, but people believe it. Other than that, it isn't half bad. Fresh fruit for rotting vegetables. Bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Oh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away, but with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted bl This is where we sleep. <laughs> Blue roses. What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of 
course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it though. Why is this door concealed? Where? There's no door here. Scan is showing something different. Wait, you mean here? Right here. It's closed. Previous owners left over, maybe? No. Open it. Somehow, please. It's worth checking your office downstairs. I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. They violated our privacy! Sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Used meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him. You talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious. That they're violating our trust? Watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? So you didn't notice. Okay. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot! Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Sharp eye, Johnny. to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Liz, 
This is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corporal conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. Display, but behind the scenes, it's all out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, string pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for Shit. weak spots, blood, rig elections. It's Kennedy, well, Johnny.
pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. You mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm-hmm. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. Any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, um, it's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait, not on the hollow. Right, I'll come by. No. You and I, we need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. 
Wasn't that long ago since we last met? Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax, no need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, a, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once... I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. And? You cut some kind of deal with him? No. I was told that our perfect lives could fall apart at any minute. That I have my husband's safety to think about. After, there was no record of the call. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. You knew who sent the intruder, but just strung me along anyway, Liz. I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. You wanted everything just to go on and flow on because it was convenient. Convenient? You got the perfect life. Prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like, living like this. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head? All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. 
He can't find out about this. It... It'd destroy him. And any for your thoughts? Damn it, Elizabeth. You gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Ask me to lie to my employer. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? <laughs>